guys, I'm Taylor from NetBeansTutorials.com, and this is this session we're going to cover the decimal format class, and we're also going to do a bit of um, parsing. We're going to parse a string variable for double, for a double, for a number that we're going to save as a double. Um, so we're basically going to cross variable types. It's kind. Of, it's going to be fun. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, and I'm sure you'll learn something. So we're going to go to New Project, Java Application, Next, and then we're going to go to Project Names, and we're going to make this a Celsius conversion tool. And well, let's get rid of all these comments first. Alrighty, we're going to have to import a few packages first. We're going to import Java X dot Swing dot J Option Pane. And then we're going to import the java.text.decimal format. I don't know why it did that. Did that. that means it's so useful and it's also kind of annoying at times with just how helpful it is. Okay, now we're going to do that cross references with two different variable types. We're going to be weird here. We're going to learn something today. String input equals j option pane. What this is going to do, what I hope to accomplish in this line, is I'm going to save a user input as a string, and it's going to be numbers. And then in the next line, I'm going to search it with a parse tool and save it as a double. Okay, so J option pane dot show input dialog null, and then we're going to enter the Fahrenheit right here. Then we're going to do double Fahrenheit equals double dot parse double input. Now what that's going to do again is it's going to search the the previously mentioned cannot find symbol. What is this nonsense? Oh. It corrected me up here, so I didn't actually type J option pane. It it changed it to J applet. That is funny. I was just talking about how annoying that means is sometimes. Okay, so now it's going to take input from a message box that's going to appear, like so, and we're going to type a bunch of numbers because that's what a temperature is. It's in, in numbers. And we're going to click OK, and you would think that wouldn't work, but it will. And then in the next line, it's going to actually query the input that we just saved as a bunch of numbers in a string file and save it as a double. Now we're going to need that Celsius conversion. Double Celsius equals 5.0 divided by 9 times Fahrenheit 32. And there we go. We now have our nice little Celsius thing. Now let's go ahead and do J option pane dot show message dialog no Fahrenheit is well let's not do any unnecessary page breaks plus Fahrenheit And then we're going to have to, well, we need to also declare in the same box the Celsius amount. And then once we've uh, got this, we're going to go ahead and tell us what the Celsius is. Plus Fahrenheit. And then we're going to do plus at the end because it's not over yet. And what this end thing is, if you haven't seen it before, is this basically specifies that in the message box it's going to do a page break. It's going to hit enter before the next line of text begins. And then in the next line of text we're going to do plus Celsius is 
plus Celsius plus N. Results. All right, and there we have our working Celsius calculator. The Fahrenheit in my room is probably, I don't know, 30 degrees? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's more like uh, 80 degrees in my room. So it would be 26.66 degrees Celsius. Now, I really hate the formatting on this, so we're going to go ahead and learn how to do decimal format. As you may have noticed, I've already have it imported up here. It was all part of my grandmaster plan. I'm not sure if I already told you. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to go ahead and change a few things about our code. First, after the Celsius declaration, we're going to go decimal format and then currency format. Now, this is the same as a variable. Decimal format is the type of variable. And this is our variable criteria. Instead of it being a label that carries a value, it's actually going to be a label that carries a decimal criteria. It's really fantastic technologies over here. It's pretty simple, really, once you get your mind around it. It will only accept what I type in here as valid as a valid um, decimal type. So, let's say, for example, that with this new format, that I type that it is 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 0.50. Or just 4,000. It's actually going to do, with this, what I've just written, it's going to do 4,000.00, because I want it to appear a certain way. And that's what the currency formatter is for. That's what the decimal format is for, rather. There are uh, three types of uh, modifiers for the uh, decimal format that we can put in place of digits up here, but we're not going to really worry about anything other than the... Uh, the pound sign and the zero zero. Basically what the zero zero tells the program is that even if there are no digits after the decimal, to go ahead and display those after those two after the decimal. So if I were to type four zeros, even if I only typed in it was four thousand degrees in my room, it would do four thousand point zero 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 zero. If I were to type this, it doesn't really care. It just shows that only display those two digits. So if I had a run on like 4444 dot, like I did in my last run time, it'll only display 0.19. So that's where the beauty of this comes in. Now we've got our, our decimal format variable declared and we have its format set. Now all we need to do is learn how to utilize it in our code over here that we've already got. Well, it's uh, pretty simple. Um, where we have plus Fahrenheit, all we have to do is encapsulate Fahrenheit, encapsulate the variable that we need to use, and then we're going to do currency dot format. Oh, I'm sorry, currency format dot format. And wow, that's a lot of nonsense, uh, guys. Do you mind? I'm trying to show some people how to do this. Okay, so plus currency format dot format. And what that is, is again, this is just your variable name. And then it shows that you need to go ahead and call it and do the formatting with the value declared as Fahrenheit, which is going to be like 90 degrees or something, depending on what you type, I don't know. And um, so go ahead and let's go ahead and try that right now. Enter the Fahrenheit. It is 4,444 degrees point all that nonsense. Now what it's going to do is it's only going to display 98 because we didn't tell it that it could display all these. We only have these two buttons right here. We only have those two digits eligible for display. Now how do I get that button back? Alrighty. Oh, it was uh, too long of a string. But anyway, would have worked. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for our Celsius over here. We're going to do currency format dot format. Very simple. We're done. 
And now we're going to run this again and see if it works. 95 degrees in my room. And then it's going to be Celsius is 35. Well, let's go ahead and do something with a bunch of digits. 95.4898. Celsius is 35.28 when it should have been well over that. Isn't that excellent? Yes, sir, it is. All right, guys, I hope you've learned something here today. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them in the comments, and I will uh, address them.